Google Chrome has just released a new feature called Journeys. This allows you to examine the history of web pages that you visited with the pages grouped into logical groups of related pages rather than the old fashioned list of uh, pages visited in time order. To look at your history in Chrome, click the three dots and then click history on the submenu below history. Or if you like keyboard shortcuts, type Control H. The history page will open on the old style list of all the pages that you visited. This is a straightforward list in reverse time order. It has a text search function. I've been looking at web pages about this new feature. So if I type journeys into the search box, Chrome's history sh shows three web pages that I've looked at. If you click on the journeys tab, then you can see the web pages that you visited, but this time the pages are grouped into groups of related web pages. Let's have a look at one of the groups. One of the web pages is selected by Chrome as the title for the group and is the first web page in the list in a larger font. This is not necessarily the first web page that you visited because a journey is not a chronological list of web pages that you visited. The first web page listed in a group is a web page that Chrome considers to be important. I've done some testing and I've discovered that the longer you spend looking at a page, the more important Chrome will think the web page is. I was able to force a page to be the first page listed in the group by spending several minutes reading a page. The other web pages in the group are indented in a slightly smaller font. These web pages are again listed in order of importance. The journey search function is intelligent. If I type Partygate in the search box, then the journeys are completely changed. The top page of the group is now this web page, which is a news article about Partygate. All the web pages in the group are still included in the group. For example, the Google search page would not have any mention of Partygate on it, but is still included in the group. I think it is only the order of pages in the group that changes. Obviously, any groups with no link to Partygate are excluded from the search result. If you save the web page in a tab group, then the journey will show that the web page was saved in a tab group. However, it does not mean that the page is still saved in a tab group. The journey is indicating that at the time you visited this page, it was saved in a tab group. If you click on this page, Chrome will open this page in a new tab, even if the page is already open in a tab group. Chrome also suggests some related searches to help you continue your journey. These will open in a new tab. If you click on the three dots at the top left of each group, you get two options to remove items from the journey. Personally, I think it would be better labeled remove from journey rather than history. If you click on remove from history, then only the top item is removed from the journey. If you click on remove all from history, then the journey and all the pages you visited as part of the journey are removed. It is worth just having a quick look at the basic list of visited web pages. And you can see from this list that even though the journey has been deleted, the pages are still saved as visited in the list of pages visited, which confirms my thought that this option should be labeled remove from journey rather than remove from list, because as you can see, the page is not removed from the list of web pages visited. If you want to clear all history and journeys, then click on clear browsing data. This will open the setting page that allows you to clear your browsing data. If all you want to do is clear your history, then ensure that only browsing history is ticked and then click clear data. If you jump back to your history, you will see that the list has been deleted. Journeys are still visible, but hit refresh and you'll see that the journeys have also been deleted. I think journeys is a very useful feature. I will certainly use it, especially to continue journeys that have already started, but have been distracted and left and want to return to at a later time. 